Yeah, you saw the title, right? I have never seen somebody so fucking requested. But that, that doesn't really matter. You know what really matters? <laughs> Look at you! <laughs> This was sent in for mail day. P.O. Box in description. <laughs> What's so stupid? Who can draw this? Okay, I know he hates it. Maybe we'll put it back on for Halloween. So what are their names? Angela and Michael? That's all people have been saying. Hey, hey, White Box Poppy, hey, hey. Do Michael and Angela. I usually don't say my name out loud. That was kind of weird. But before we jump into this, I just want to do a really quick shout out to the people of the Cleft Mom Support Group on Facebook. It, it came to my attention that a lot of you in this group watch my videos and it makes you guys laugh and everything like that. And not just them, but everybody affected by unilateral and bilateral cleft lips and palates. Sorry, I had to chop that up because I didn't want to fuck it up. So I'm glad these videos can make you guys laugh even a little bit and hopefully this can shed a little bit of light onto what is going on with a lot of people that people might not know about. So thank you guys so much for all the support and watching the vids. I'm glad they can make you laugh a little bit. Now let's make fun of people and, and their deepest insecurities. Yeah, how are you doing? Angela, come say hello to my friends. Hello. Meet, meet my friends in my neighborhood. Bowany. Oh! Oh, this is what we're getting into, huh? Oh, uh, this seems, this seems really dangerous already. Yeah. This is Angela. Wow. One I've been telling you about my baby. Yeah. We grew up together. Really? Yeah. We all the same age or older? No, we be older. You be older than me. Well, you know what? I'm older than all of you. Woo, that's definitely the laugh of a woman who just beat the shit out of her kids in a B-dubs handicap stall. <laughs> so. Age, age is just the number, baby. Come on. Yeah. Uh, Do we look okay? Man, he really sizing this bitch up. Like as if him looking at her is like, man, that better go away. Sure. Can I ask y'all a question? Yeah. Ask Michael, does he have pictures of his woman on his phone? But do you have no, no, a picture no. on your phone? You know the reason well, why? Well, I would like to hear them tell me the reason. Yes. What is the reason you think he don't have my no. picture on his phone? Wait, what are you, are you, what are you asking? If he, I, I love how there's no intro, this is the video that a bunch of people sent me, by the way. And I don't review these, so we even get an introduction to her age, doesn't matter, or her weight, which they wouldn't tell us. I actually also don't give a fuck how old this extremely smooth person is. What do you use? Like, you look like you were freshly born. But she's asking, like, if her picture's on his phone, if he didn't, would that be weird? Like, I have pictures of my girlfriend on my phone, but it's because she tried to shove her new iPhone down her throat. Before I came to Nigeria, Michael had told me he couldn't have my picture on his phone. And that caused a lot of tension, you know, with my family. That's a perfect thumbnail. This is like the poster for being like, this is what being an American will make you look like. It brought a lot of tension to your entire family. Like you guys have like a little meeting at family dinner. And they're all just like, fuck! He needs to have at least three photos. One of them a background. It doesn't have to be the lock screen though, but it has to be the background. There's a lot of scammers in Nigeria, you know, and he's like, they'll arrest me because I am young and they'll think I'm scamming. I don't believe that he can go to jail for having your I, picture. I, I, I don't believe that. It. He so has to take precautions because they go ahead and take you to jail. Man, this looks like a good old family American outing. Yeehaw! Every person in the tent is the most grotesque person I've ever seen. I want to make sure I'm not being made a fool out of. What was that? I want to make sure I'm not being made a fool out of. Oh, okay. Goes on international television to be with a freshly born Nigerian. This guy just looks like a really tall child. How old are you? Somewhere between three months and 32 years old. And it's not because he was embarrassed at me. I believe when cops in this region see a young man with a female lady, that white lady, on his phone, they could get him arrested. Those are homies right there! Oh! Like, every man should show his homies this and be like, hey, this is how we gotta act. If my bitch ever asks you a question, it's gotta line up perfectly with what I said. So you were telling the truth. Told but you. can you do it now? Yeah, sure. So you're gonna put one on your phone? Sure, I will. This would make me leave a woman right here. Like, you really care that much? Really? Because I don't give a fuck at all. I love my baby. I love my baby. You gonna breastfeed him next? He's looking kind of hungry. Love you too, baby. You sure? Yeah. I'm a little skeptical. His friends might have been covering for him. So, you better believe I'm gonna be looking for my picture on that phone. Like, I get that's what I said. 
like that they were lying as well. But why would she ask and then get the answer she wanted and then be like, oh, they're fucking lying. Well, why'd you even ask then? Yesterday, I met Michael's mom and his friends. It was a little nerve-wracking. They're all wearing the coolest shirts I've ever seen in my entire life. Uh, not her, by the way, clearly. Because I'm, I'm positive that is a king-size bedsheet. So, it mentally exhausted me. This is the African markets, the hot markets. Anybody else getting PTSD from one of the first Nicole Nazans I ever did? I want to let you all know, by the way, somebody commented yesterday on one of my videos, I'm not exactly sure which one. Hey, I would love to see your reaction of 90 Day Fiance. Today, I wanted to relax at the hotel, but Michael's taking me to the market today because we have- That was a little overly dramatic. It's like those commercials, you know, where they're like, oh, is it hard to keep your Tupperware in order? Like that's actually commercials. And they're like, when they open up the thing and they all fly out in their face. Or the guy's like holding the popcorn, he spills it everywhere. You know what I'm talking about. And they're always white people. That's what, that's what that was. You're not a vampire. Talked in the past about him wanting me to wear African tire. He's very adamant about it. How about this? <laughs> Come on, not let me just show you. Let me just show you. Later, baby. Come on. I don't see a problem with that because what you're wearing is from Walmart. I, I, this seems like a pretty good compromise in my opinion. Hey, you better put my fucking picture on your phone. You are the luckiest three-year-old. I don't know one three-year-old with a cell phone. And she won't even wear a fucking shirt. Come on, let me show yeah. you. They're beautiful outfits. They really are, but they're not for me. So I'm out of my comfort zone. Wow. Wow. That would be really bad getting out of your comfort zone. Yeah, I guess living in Nigeria is really comfortable, huh? This seems normal to you. I feel like this is put on by TLC. There's no, actually, I don't know. Let's never forget what Chantel's mother said. It's not really about it being for you. You know what I'm saying? Honestly, with this body type, there's nothing that's really for you. Like a hoodie, probably. A potato sack. Wait, wait. You're, you're sweating. <laughs> you're making me sweat. <laughs> Easy. Thank you. It's important for Angela to respect Nigerian culture. I wish uh, she would embrace it more. Oh, Michael. <laughs> what? Oh, no. No, I don't like it. Wait, wait, let me explain, please. Okay! Well, actually, you know, this is actually really good timing. I cannot wait to see what her explanation is. Now, hey, hey. Michael. That's probably not your real name. Michael. In America, that's the healthiest thing we do. But to find out what she actually says, you're gonna have to wait until Wednesday. I don't know what I'm gonna do tomorrow yet. I looked at all of your recommendations. I'll have to uh, check them out. <laughs> so thank you guys all so much for watching. Uh, sorry for not posting a vlog yesterday. I usually like post one on Saturday about like the entire week and like recap everything and talk about everything and do other things. But I moved into an office, so I'm about to head there right now and edit and then stream at 2 p.m. to 6 p.m. Central time. Sorry for tonight. The first time. That's in about two hours from filming right now. And my office is definitely not soundproof enough, but if you want to see the office, right here. Vlogged it, we put it all together, it looks beautiful, and roll that fucking Twitch clip, bitch! Can you make a little shark fuck? I'm genuinely curious about his skincare routine. We'll have a wonderful time on the wine box poppy Twitch stream. Can somebody just make hit marker noises with their mouths? Everybody who's versing us is an idiot. Complete autism. Huh? What are you gonna do? Huh? You're almost dead. <laughs> she has no Reaper's gay. It's in the lore. Oh! I had one fucking health! Oh! <laughs> I did not think that was gonna hit at all. Like, not one fucking. Come on. Oh shit. 
Ooh!